got through and I said, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. First take. Oh, I haven't been able to sleep much at all. Why is that? I've been worried about the conference. I've, I've been receiving questions. Obviously, you know, show that certain people may not understand the conference as clearly as we intend. Okay, so what is it that they don't understand? So, for example, you know, do I need to be an artist oh. or to do anything related to the arts to participate and present in the, at, at the conference? The quick answer is no. Uh, so let me explain very quickly what, how this conference works. It's different from other conferences. There are big conferences where there are many breakout panels where you go and listen to people in your field. There are small conferences where you just listen to a, a small group of people. Engaging with Vietnam is something in between. There are breakout sessions where you can talk with people in your field. But at the same time, we have these things called keynote sessions where everyone comes together and listens to someone talk on a theme. And that's where the theme of the conference comes in. Mm. Because the title of the conference is Engaging with Vietnam and Interdisciplinary Dialogue. Mm -hmm. And it's in the keynote sessions that we have this interdisciplinary dialogue. And this year, uh, we're going to be looking at scholarship and the arts, how the two intersect. And the idea is that when you go and listen to the keynote sessions, you get inspired, you get insights that maybe you wouldn't get in your breakout sessions, even though those are probably going to be great as well. So mm -hmm. can, you, can you give us an example of um, a keynote session and what it's going to be about and um, okay. you know, how, yeah. how these things intersect? Yeah. Do you mind if I read something from my notes? I can't read that, oh, but yeah, so go ahead. Oh, okay, huh? yes. So for example, right, um, in a plenary session between Fazo Rizvi. Mm -hmm. Education? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you could say education, but uh -huh. it's not necessarily just uh, education. Okay. It's interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary, uh -huh. right? Intersecting education, globalization studies, mm -hmm. and development, mm -hmm. right? Uh, with Fazo Rizvi, Jonathan Warren and myself. Mm -hmm. We all discuss complex aspects surrounding the rise of Asia sentiment and discourses, um, you know, from different angles and approaches. Mm -hmm. So while Fazo Rizvi discusses the global aspects of the rise of Asia sentiment, I use Vietnam as a case study to examine it and to offer alternative understandings and Jonathan Warren Wait, wait, so what, what does that have to do with the arts? That's, how is come that Come on, connected? hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. And then Jonathan Warren would show up how he addresses these issues and questions both as a scholar and uh -huh. a filmmaker. I see. Okay, right. so that's essentially extremely academic, but we're also kind of showing how more artistic ways of dealing mm -hmm. with academic knowledge also works. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. But there are also some uh, keynote sessions mm. that are going to be kind of going from the other direction, where we have mm. people who are in the arts but who are engaging with academic yeah. ideas. Yeah. So we have Nguyen Phuong Linh, a young artist from Vietnam, who among other things is researching about rubber plantations in colonial Vietnam and thinking, trying to get academic knowledge about that mm. that could then enhance the way she expresses information about this uh, artistically. Um, and with Thang. Who's, yeah. um, he's dealing, for instance, with LGBT issues in Vietnam, mm. and I'm sure, and he's through filmmaking, through art, and I'm sure he's going to have something to say about how those fields intersect. Right. Yeah. Then we have Bolero. What is Bolero? What is Bolero? Yeah. I think I can show you some move. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yep. It might be better to explain. <laughs> okay. I, <laughs> uh, you know, Probably I think you do it, you might do it better than I do because, you know, so far I think I perform Bolero okay, rather than talks clearly, about it. We've got to go to this <laughs> keynote session to figure out more about this, clearly. Mm -hmm. But we have a filmmaker, Jun Min Khoi, who's mm -hmm. making a film on the history of Bolero, a kind of music that emerged decades ago in the south of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we have an ethnomusicologist, Jason Gibbs, who's going to talk about uh, why this music that's decades old is now somehow enjoying a resurgence in contemporary exactly. Vietnam. Yeah. 
Mm. And then finally, we have another ethnomusicologist, Fred Lau from the University of Hawaii, who's going to comment on all of this. Mm. So what you can see is this is very academic, but it's also artistic, and it's showing the ways that these two things intersect. And again, this is for the keynote sessions. The breakout sessions can be on anything. They can be on education, economics, history. But the idea is when you come out of your individual panels, you go to these keynote sessions where you're uh, exposed. exposed to mm. more ideas mm. that nonetheless intersect with the things that you're looking at. Yeah. And that's meant to create this interdisciplinary dialogue. Yeah, and the Engaging with Vietnam conference series, you know, we all always hope that researchers and academics or anyone interested in scholarship related to Vietnam would have the opportunity to move beyond their disciplinary focus. Okay, that, now that right. makes me wonder, what if I'm an artist or a musician and I want to go to this conference, how, how could I participate? Okay, so for example, depending on how we define language, mm -hmm. language can be understood in a very broad sense. So let's say both of us are interested in contemporary issues in Vietnamese societies, mm -hmm. but why you may use your maybe musical mm -hmm. knowledge and language to engage with mm -hmm. those issues. And I can use some boring, I don't know, right. rigid, dry academic mm -hmm. language mm -hmm. to do the same mm -hmm. thing. Okay, but, but it an doesn't artist... mean that we we don't work together, right. probably, but we have to find ways to work together. Okay, but an yeah. artist or a musician would need to explain what they're doing. Exactly. Right. Okay, yeah. for us who speak a different language. Yes, right. yeah. and vice versa. Okay, so mm -hmm. hopefully this has cleared up some issues. Again, you do not have to be involved in the arts to participate, but we want you, mm -hmm. but if you do participate, hopefully what will happen is that you'll see that the kind of intersection of academics and the arts is very inspiring, and there's a lot that we, plain academics, can learn from the intersection of these mm -hmm. uh, different disciplines. Yeah, I think so. So see That's you great. in uh, Honolulu in October. Yes. First take, good job. And you I think it. I can sleep Ooh. well tonight. Yeah. Um,